And we, before we move off base brush functionality, let's talk about how to save your own custom brushes and then load up maybe brushes you found on uh, the internet. As well as if you hit your comma key here and you go into the brushes, there's a lot of brushes loaded with ZBrush that aren't loaded by default. And by what I mean by that is if you hit uh, the B key, here is ZBrush's auto default brushes. And I've actually added a few of my own custom ones in here. But for the most part, these are all going to look pretty uh, familiar to you. These come auto-loaded with ZBrush. What also comes auto-loaded with ZBrush, if you hit the comma key, go into your light box here, go to the brush tab. There's a bunch of brushes in here. Some of them are kind of legacy brushes, but there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. And also you can, down, like I said, download brushes from the internet. When we get into insert mesh brushes, there's a lot of really cool ones you can download for kit bashing and hair and stuff like that. But if you want to load any of these, for example, go into the trim folder, say select trim smooth border, and now you can use the Trim Smooth Border Brush, and that'll kind of give you, uh, we'll use this on when we get to like rock sculpting and stuff like that. This is kind of an interesting one. And all you had to do is double click it, and now you have Trim Smooth Border loaded up in ZBrush. Now, if you shut ZBrush down and then launch it back up, this Trim Smooth Border Brush is gonna disappear. It will still live in this area, but let's say you want the Trim Smooth Border Brush to always show up when you have ZBrush loaded. You're using it in ZBrush, and it's just a really great brush. You want to use it a lot. And every time you launch ZBrush, you want to use it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Brush, Save As, go to C, Program Files, Pixelogic, ZBrush 2018. And like we were talking about earlier, when we know if you haven't watched the Lightbox video, I'd go watch that. But if you go in here to ZBrushes, you're going to see here's all those folders that were in our Lightbox. So essentially, this is the location where your Lightbox is going to end up looking. So if you wanted to say, let's go ahead and cancel out of this. We have Trim Smooth Border selected, but let's take an alpha, and we'll get the alphas in a bit. I'm going to choose this alpha 28 for a square alpha. So now when I use this brush, it kind of squares off, and it behaves a little bit more like rocks. Kind of gives me a harder edge. So let's say, you know what? I like this version of the Trim Smooth Border better, and I also want it to show up every time I launch the brush. So what I can do is I can go to Brush, Save As, C, Program Files, Pixelogic, ZBrush 2018. If I go to Z Brushes and then trim. I can name this one trim smooth border, let's say rect, save it in here. And now when I hit the comma key, you're going to see brush and I have a trim smooth border and a trim smooth border rect in there now. However, it's still in my lightbox menu. It's not going to show up in ZBrush by default. To get it to show up in ZBrush by default, I got to go to brush, save as, Pixelogic, ZBrush 2018, Z startup, brush presets. And now if I save trim smooth border rect in here, Every time I start up ZBrush and I hit the B key, Trim Smooth Border is going to show up. And at that point, you can assign a hotkey to it. And that's great for brushes you use all the time. Like, for example, I have a version of the Move Brush called Move Accu. I have that assigned to Alt-V, and I just load that up. So basically what I did was I took the Move Brush, which by default has the Accu Curve turned off. Then I turned Accu Curve on. I saved that out in the Z Startup folder, and then I loaded up ZBrush, and then I went and assigned a hotkey to it. Just sneak preview, if you don't want to skip forward to the video, assigning a hotkey is as simple as holding down Control alt tapping on the button. It'll say at the very top here, press any key combination to assign a hotkey, do Alt-V, and now move Accu is assigned to Alt-V. Now let's say you want to change the functionality of these base brushes up here. Let's say you like clay buildup, and actually I think I already did change this one, but let's say the Z intensity is too high for you. So you're using clay build up here and the Z intensity is just too much. So you want to turn the Z intensity down, but you're tired of doing that every single time you load up ZBrush. So what we can do with this clay build up brush, we can go to brush, save as, and then instead of going to Z startup, we're going to go into uh, ZBrush, Pixelogic ZBrush 2018, Z data, brush presets. Now you're going to see clay build up in here is that brush that loads up as a brush preset in ZBrush. If you save over this one, it'll save those brush settings on top of that brush.